Russell out of Firewood Doctor. Today I'm trying out a new gadget. I bought this myself, Greenworks 24 volt air compressor. It can also plug in the 12 volt. Uh, I got this little thing for so I can uh, have something decent to air up tires. It's at 35 psi. I have it set for 40. It automatically shut off when it hits uh, 40, 40.1 PSI. Yeah, so this cost, uh, oh gosh, over 100 bucks. I got a battery with USB. I got a real charger. Yeah, I tried it out on the uh, on another tire, so I know it works. So I wouldn't look like an idiot trying to uh, figure this out on the go. It's got a bunch of other features. It can it has like a little blow gun seat, and it has a little odds and ends. You can um, air up. Uh, Balls, uh, you know, like kids' toys and stuff. Let's see how long this battery lasts. It's a little cold out here. So th this will come in handy when I go to uh, air up the tires on the log splitter or the wheelbarrow instead of using a bicycle pump. Just set the PSI, push the right buttons, and you're done. Oh yeah, it also has a light on here. It's just that easy. Boy, this is so nice. Instead of screwing around with uh, running around to uh, gas stations to find one that works oh, this is so much fun yeah I was gonna do some cutting today and then split the pine but what the heck But uh, yeah, the wood yard's a little buried. So. That and uh, this truck is useless on ice and snow, even though it's got posi. It doesn't uh, have any traction getting in and out of this uh, compound where I live. It uh, I couldn't get in the driveway because it wasn't uh, sulfur sanded getting in off of the road. So yeah, it, it took me the fifth attempt. I got up to the top of the first short little hill, and then I uh, just kept flooring it, letting off, getting it gas yeah, hard. Letting off and it, it, it would uh, spin, let off, and it would grab a little bit an inch forward. And I finally got up in here, and then right in front of my place, I had to stop, you know, part way up the, ne the next flight like, grade because someone's coming the other way and the road wasn't plowed wide enough yet. That sucked. So I had to back up the flat ground and try to get some momentum going up the hill. Yeah, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be uh, working on saving up to get a four wheel drive or a resurrect the van. I got it. <laughs> Sorry, exhausting the truck. Got the uh, got to get a battery and fix, get a coolant leak fix. It's probably a hose. This tire is almost done. 
Oh, this is nice. I don't have to do any more bicycle pump, you know, airing these things up or having to run into town. Well, this, this is going to work out nice. Oh, that one's done. I'm doing these tires to 40 because uh, I haven't looked at it, but a 40 is a safe bet for these tires. Flip it back around. The I don't know how I'm going to get out of this spot. The guy behind me parks goofy. I don't want to go downhill go in that direction because then I might not get up the hill. It saves me from saying a lot of bad words when having to do it with a bicycle pump. Lots of bad words saved. Alright, from the comfort of my truck, the air compressor, okay, it's backwards, okay, you know, it's, it's on selfie mode so it shows backwards. But the air compressor itself was uh, $70. The battery was 40 and the charger was another 40 so 150 for this oh uh, yeah it, I feel it was a good buy I'm trying to get the battery out maybe I turn the power off there we go a second Okay, let's see. Hey, used up uh, one bar of power to do that little bit. Of course, it's also cold. It's like 16 degrees out. And it, it is not going to be fun if I go out to the wood yard. I got to sharpen the, the saws up so I have, you know, saws that I can use. I got one chain left of that's for the top handle. I got... Yeah, I got some chains in the box for the uh, 572 XP. But uh, I'd rather use up the one that's on there. So I'm going to... That'll be uh, next time. I'll get get the saw sharpened up. and. But yeah, 
Back to this little uh, 24 volt Greenworks air compressor. It was pretty sweet, I think. You know, it comes in handy. It sure as heck beats uh, trying to get to the gas, find a gas station to air it up, you know, or when I'm out here in the sticks. You know, it comes in handy. You know, you don't have to run a bicycle pump or if you, you know, you're in a remote location, you uh, need to air up a tire on a lawn tractor, say it just has a slow leak. It just, you know, they only have a few PSI to begin with or or anything um, where you don't have access to regular power because this also has 12 volt plug-in so you definitely want to get get one of these for for uh, just airing up tires and doing little things like that I'm assuming it can also air up like um, air mattresses and stuff uh, it's got the needle valves and that needle valve for like uh, sports balls and stuff so yeah, it's got a few little odds and ends gadgets so overall pretty good so whew. yeah and even though the heater's been running in the truck for a while it's still not warmed up and I think it's got a little snow flurry so yeah this is gonna be it for this one a little short video on a new tool it got some snow flurries so I don't know if I'm gonna get any uh, firewood work done this weekend it's pretty cold it's still a weekend before Christmas so and, and next weekend it's going to be colder right now it's like 16 degrees next week we're looking at you know like 8 or 9 degrees for the highs Ugh. too cold too early it's not supposed to happen until January so but that's life in the north so till next time folks take care get out there do something have fun doing it